guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aubrey Gbert and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> if you do not know me, I am a I'm a beauty influencer. I'm a model, I guess. I don't know. I just do whatever comes to my mind if we're being completely honest. Basically, I'm just passionate about makeup, fashion, um photography, modeling, you know, stuff like that. So as we all know, Valentine's Day is coming soon. So I personally have a boyfriend and I am going out. I think this is a good look if you go out with friends for like a Valentine's Day thing. Um, if you go out with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, or if you just wanna glam up and take some bomb selfies, then this is also a good look for that as well. But without further ado, enough chit chat and let's get right into the video. To start off this look, I'm just going to be putting up my hair, ignore my nails, um, <laughs> and I'm using the Hangover 3-in-1 spray from Too Faced, just spraying that and then dabbing that in to set that. And then I'm going in with my True Match foundation from L'Oreal in the shade N3, and I'm going to even it out with the NYX Total Control foundation in Vanilla, and I'm just going to start dabbing that on my face and blending that with a beauty blender. For concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Swan, and it is a little bright, so I'm going to be applying the Maybelline Fit Me concealer on top of that in the shade Fair, and just putting that on the high points of my face. Then I'm going to be blending that out with the same beauty blender. For powder, I'm using the NYX Blotting Powder in Medium Dark and a big fluffy brush from IT Cosmetics, and I'm just applying that all over my face before going in with the brows using my Anastasia Brow Pomade in Dark Brown and just brushing out my brows with an e.l.f. brush and then going in with another e.l.f. brush and just doing my brows. Using a small brush in my Maybelline concealer, I'm going to just fix up the arch of my one brow because I kind of just fricked that up. Then I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Classic Ivory in a slanted beauty blender and just going under my eyes where I normally crease. And then going in with my Hoola bronzer and just a fluffy brush, I am going to start bronzing up my face. So I do my jawline, um, the regular under cheekbone area, my forehead. And for nose contour, I kind of really don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of do stuff and hope for the best. So this is what I normally do. I just take like an eyeshadow brush and um, line the sides of my nose with the bronzer and then just try to blend that out the best I can and just try to hope it looks good. Then using one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, which is the nude palette from Huda Beauty, I'm going to use the concealer in that palette and just put that all over my eyes just to kind of hide the veins. Then using a fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with Bare and put this all over my eye. Then going in with the shade Play, using the same fluffy brush, I'm going to put this all over my crease. Then with a smaller Morphe brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Teddy and put this in the same parts that I put Play. I'm just kind of giving depth to my eye and giving it a more darker look. Then with an even smaller brush from Morphe, I'm going to go in with a pink shade called Tickle and I'm putting this um, on the outside of my lid, blending that into my crease and also doing the inner corner of my eye, just leaving that middle section open to do like a little highlight effect. Then going in with more of a flat brush, I'm going to dip into Bear and Crave, the both of those, and I'm just putting this under my brow bone and also doing the middle section that I left open from the shade Tickle, and this just kind of gives a highlight effect on the eye to make the light pop off of it. I'm also dipping into Daydream with the same brush and I'm just putting that on top to give it a more pink effect. And then I'm just going to dip back into Teddy with a fluffy brush and blend everything out. And then for the under the lash line, I'm going into Tickle and Teddy and I'm just putting that on a small brush and going under my lash line with that. 
For eyeliner, I'm using my Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner and just doing um, a skinny little wing. Um, it is hard to work with for me right now because I need a new eyeliner, but that is basically the gist of it. The eyeliner is actually really good itself. I just need a new one. I was going to use falsies with this look, but I lost them somehow. So I'm using the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced, which I love, and I am just applying this generously to my upper and lower lashes. Then I'm going to line my lips with the Maybelline Lip Liner in the shade Nude Whisper, and I'm just overlining my lips just a little bit to make them appear a little bit larger. Then I'm going in with the Milani Lipstick in the shade Naturally Chic, and I'm just applying this all over my lips. Then I'm going in with a lip gloss from Too Faced called Pink Swan, and I'm just going to put this all over my lips as well to give it more of a glow. Then I'm going in with a black eyeliner from Wet n Wild and just putting this under my lash line. Then I am taking my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Rose Gold and my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just giving a spritz of that and taking a fluffy brush and applying this highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones, above my eyebrows, my chin, my nose, and then I will do my shoulders as well just to give it a glow. To finish off this look, I'm just giving myself a nice spritz of my all-nighter setting spray, and that is it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed, and let me know in the comment section what your Valentine's Day plans are. If you're going out with friends, if you're staying at home, having a movie night, if you're going out with a boyfriend, girlfriend, family, whatever, just let me know what you guys are doing because I am very interested to see what everyone else likes to do on Valentine's Day. And yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that nonsense. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, add me on Snapchat if you'd like. That will all be in the description box as always. And have a wonderful Thursday or whatever day you're watching this.